What's up guys, we are back with a new video. Now in yesterday's experiment, I tried turning ocean water into hydrogen and chlorine gas and it was a fail. And we found out that it's because I was using copper electrodes that it didn't work. The electrodes need to be carbon only. But I know this experiment can work and I don't want to give up yet. And sometimes the simplest method is the best. So today we're going to modify this setup a little bit and see if we can in fact extract chlorine gas from ocean water. So this thing right here is the modified system in a nutshell and you're going to see it's very very simple. All I did is heat up a screwdriver with a flame until it got hot enough that I could poke two holes in the bottom of this plastic container just big enough for the carbon rods. Once the carbon rods were pushed most of the way in, I mixed up a batch of 5 minute epoxy and I put a liberal amount inside and outside because we need this thing to be completely watertight when it's standing upright. We're going to keep the two holes that we made in the container from yesterday's experiment. Now all we have to do is fill this thing back up with more fresh seawater, attach some jumper cables to the bottom and let it run. Okay guys, update, it's the moment of truth. I've been down to the ocean, I got some fresh ocean water, I filled up the container and I've hooked it up to my car battery. All that's left to do right now is attach the red jumper cable lead to the battery terminal and see if this thing actually works. All right, so here we go, moment of truth. Make the connection, boom. Assuming everything's connected properly here, we should be generating chlorine gas off of the left side and hydrogen gas off of the right side. But there's not a whole lot of voltage or amperage, so we're just gonna have to let this thing hang out. And I'll probably start the car and let the alternator pick up some of the load. Another update, I had come out after about an hour and I hadn't noticed much gas production and I think that's because the necks of the bottles were flat against the bottom. So there wasn't much way for electricity to flow through the solution. So I just used a couple of rocks and I propped these bottles up a little bit and that allows the solution to conduct electricity a little bit quicker. And since then, my rate of production on these gases have gone way up. And if we check this now, you can see that bottle is almost completely full of hydrogen. So now we got a full bottle of hydrogen, let's light it off. Yeah, that's a good test. So I built another contraption that'll help us work with smaller quantities a little bit faster. So this here is a much, much simpler setup. You can see I'm only running one carbon electrode through the side into a much smaller bottle. And that's because the limiting factor here is the amount of salt that's actually in our seawater. As the chlorine is extracted, it'll get collected into this bottle. So by using a smaller bottle, the concentration of chlorine that we end up should be higher. Smell this one over here and tell me what it smells like. It smells like pool water. What does that smell like? A hot tub. A hot tub? <laughs> it's been almost three hours now, and you can see most of the solution has been pushed out of the bottle, displaced with the gas. This should be chlorine gas, and looking at it, you can see it's kind of got a brownish yellow tinge to it. So there's a good possibility that we actually do have chlorine. Boom, finally. Four and a half hours of effort, but we finally got it. So here we have a little soda bottle filled with chlorine gas. Chlorine's awesome stuff because it can be used as a disinfectant for treating and sanitizing drinking water. But it is a very dangerous chemical. You don't want to breathe this stuff in. It could do some nasty damage to you. If you look inside there, you should be able to see a hazy yellowish brown cloud, and that appears to me to be chlorine. So I think we've done it. I don't have any use for chlorine gas right now, but I think it's really cool that we can make it if we need to. The thing that really blows my mind about this experiment is that salt water is very tame, but if you pump a little electricity through it, you can make some pretty vicious chemicals. Woo! <coughs> wow, that's powerful. It stings the nose, stings the throat burns the lungs. I think we got ourselves some good chlorine there, guys. Mark, my brother just arrived. Here, take that, buddy. Got it. I want you just to sniff in that hole and tell me what you smell. <laughs> smells nice. It smells like chlorine. Does it smell clean? It smells very clean. It smells like a swimming pool. And chlorine is two and a half times heavier than air. So if you hold on to that, and if I take my hand off the top, the chlorine should stay in the bottle. Okay. Now, if you want to very, very carefully smell in there, tell me if that's chlorine or not. Whoa! What experience? Oh, that is very strong. It burned my nostrils. With a little sniff? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that is strong. Yeah, it's crazy, huh? Yeah, it is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Yeah. <laughs> that hurt. Yeah. It's so potent. You already had that done, huh? I did. That hurt me on my left nostril. That smells like bleach. I feel like I should go do laundry now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was just a light one. Oh. That was light. It's still so strong and potent. Like it burns yeah. all the way in. Yeah, that's good stuff, huh? That really burns. So did we do it? Did we make 
chlorine bleach out of seawater? Yeah. I think we did. So if it's not obvious, guys, don't try this at home. Don't sniff chlorine. Why not? It's science. Don't sniff chlorine, guys. Sniffing chlorine for science. All right. Oh my goodness, this is what we do. This is our bottle of water that's been exposed to chlorine. I'm gonna give it a little taste test, which I'm sure isn't the smartest idea, but it's for science. Actually, I can already taste that on the lip. Wow. Wow. I can taste that, that's bleach. I'm gonna go wash my mouth out. Ugh. So I poured a little bit of water into this bottle with chlorine and just shook it around for a couple of minutes to see if the chlorine will absorb into the water and form sodium hypochlorite or bleach. So I think what I'm gonna do now is pour the water out and uh, figure out some way to test it. This is our homemade bleach using the water and uh, chlorine. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's only been one minute and you can see already serious bleach stains. Wow, that's incredible. That is insane. It's been five minutes, maybe six and a half. Yeah, you're not wearing that again. I'm super excited to say we did it, guys. We took salt water straight out of the ocean, pumped electricity through it, and converted it into hydrogen, chlorine, and bleach. The reason I'm so excited about being able to generate chlorine is because even today, it's one of the main ways that we sanitize and disinfect our drinking water. So as long as you have access to the ocean and being able to generate electricity, you can generate chlorine. Hey, that's it for this video, guys. It's been awesome hanging out with you today, and I'll be looking for you in the next video. Talk to you then. Oh, it's like a sour, bitter smell. It's Oh. Hey guys, thanks for watching, and remember I'm giving away prizes now on every new video. All you have to do to qualify is subscribe to my channel, ring the bell, and select to be notified when my next videos get released. The secret link to my giveaways will be pinned in the comments for the first 12 hours. If you like what I'm doing, show your support right now by giving this video a big thumbs up and share with a friend. I love you back, and I'll see you next time.